वेलकम द संख्या टेलीविजन एंड द प्रोग्राम ज्ञान ज्योति वी प्रे सीकिंग द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ भगवान दैट भगवान यू आर द रिमूवर ऑफ ऑल डिफिकल्टीज एंड द ब्रिंग ऑफ हैप्पीनेस इन टू अवर लाइफ्स वी सलूट यू इन ऑल दाई नेम्स एंड फॉर्म्स एंड सीक योर ब्लेसिंग्स इन दिस स्पेशल मंथ ऑफ फाल्गुन May you be pleased with our prayer and bless us all. Om Sri Ganesha Ya Namaha. Om Sri Mahalakshmi Namaha. Om Sri Mahasaraswati Namaha. Om Siddhi Buddhi Prade Devi. Bhukti Mukti. प्रदायिनी मंत्रमूर्ति सदा देवी महालक्ष्मी नमस्तुते ओम लक्ष्मी करोति कल्याण आरोग्यं सुख संपदम मम शत्रुविनाशाय deep jyoti namostute in the bhagavad gita chapter 17 it says dev bipra guru tatva bida pujan suchi riju bhav brahmacharya hiya rahita tap sharira kah chai so this which is known as giving honor to the devtas the guru the preceptor and speaking truthful words all this is known to be the tapasya of the body then abhaya satya priya hita bachana those who say words which is fearless but also truthful arjun bhake joy anyone o arjun who speaks truthful and in agreement with the books of the scriptures karai ved abhyas puni vachak tap yah hoy that is known as the tapasya of the vani or the words now words have the power it could make you happy it could make you sad it has that magic spell in it it could make one angry it could make you sad it could make you shed tears it could make you very happy and laugh so words are like that therefore a person who has the control of what is words that person is said to be a blessed person a person who would synchronize these things the austerity of the body the austerity of the mind and the austerity of the thoughts all three synchronizing together that person is doing this satogun form of fasting so in chapter 17 of bhagavad gita this is what it is telling and what helps one to be able to maintain these things and to find the discipline and to keep the peace of mind and everything is by using the different days that you have in the hindu calendar or in this katha in the calendar that is there in the astrological calendar to help us to energize ourselves and to prepare our mind or body and our thoughts to maintain these it says that in itself is a form of purification internal and external it is a internal purification as well as the external purification so during the course of our fast we cannot think about using words which are negative which are bad which are insulting to one and think that we are going to gain the benefits of the fasting we still have to practice more to keep that anger down and to have control of 
that extra energy that is there in us and utilize it in a very nice way. Just like how when we went to elementary school, we learned a poem. If all the seas were one sea, what a great sea that would be. And if all the axes were one axe, what a great axe that would be. And if all the trees was one tree, what a great tree that would be. And if all the men was one man, what a great man that would be. And if the great man take the great axe and cut down the great tree and let it fall into a great sea, what a great splish splash that would be. Think about the energies that we have and we utilize it in the way in which we are not supposed to. If those energies could be utilized in a fruitful way and we make the best use of it, that will be fruitful for ourselves and also to others around us. What a great joy it will be and what a great heaven it will create for all of us to be able to enjoy peace, bliss and happiness. All the scriptures, whichever they may be, they teach us one thing, to keep our inmost conscience pure so that we'll be able to have the Lord seated in our conscience, in our mind. And when we could be able to do that, we'll be living in harmony and peace. But once we do not try to culture that into ourselves, we'll be only having negative things more and we'll not be having unity. We will not be using the energies that God has blessed us with properly. And it says, He not abato aisi kripaho jivan niradtak jane na pai. Always let it be of such that your purpose of coming in this world or purpose of being there in the world should always be a fruitful one. There must be some good cause for our coming that our presence become fruitful and meaningful. And when that becomes, we have lived the purpose of coming to the world. God bless you. Om Mahalakshmaya Namah. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti.